In the fast-paced world of Formula 1, there's one name that stands out, Helmet Marco. While the Helmet Marco might appear as a behind-the-scenes bad guy who calls all the shots in Red Bull Racing, there's much more to him than meets the eye. He's the guy who spots and supports young racing talent, helping them become F1 superstars. With a keen eye for talent, Marco has been the driving force behind the rise of more than a third of the active racers on the Formula 1 grid. Under his guidance as the head of the Red Bull Junior team, prodigies like Sebastian Vettel and Max Verstappen have blossomed into multiple-time world champions. Daniel Ricciardo and Carlos Sainz are among the illustrious Red Bull graduates who have gone on to claim their rightful place as race-winning F1 drivers, etching their names in motorsport history. Red Bull Racing has achieved remarkable success in Formula 1, and at the heart of this triumph are Helmut Marko's strategic decisions. Their track record boasts an impressive tally of five constructors' titles and six drivers' championships. Even their sister team, now operating under the name Alpha Tauri, has savoured the sweet taste of victory on two occasions, both achieved at the iconic Monza circuit. Many fans are familiar with his pivotal role in Red Bull's triumphs in the F1 arena, but few are aware that Marco is an Austrian racing legend who once raced with Formula 1. Born on April 27, 1943 in Graz, Austria, Helmut Marco's passion for motorsports ignited from an early age. In a time when karting safety measures were virtually non-existent, a young Marco fearlessly honed his car handling skills on the thrilling winding roads around Bad Ossi. Marco started showcasing his talent across various disciplines, including Formula 2, before ascending to the prestigious Formula 1 circuit. Making his Formula 1 debut in 1971 with the BRM team, Marco's performances were commendable even though he didn't secure championship points. However, in that very same year, he achieved an extraordinary feat by triumphing in the iconic 24 Hours of Le Mans. Alongside Gears van Lennep, he piloted the Martini Porsche 917K, setting an awe-inspiring distance record of 5,335.313 km at an impressive average speed of 222.304 km per hour, an unparalleled record that remained untouched until 2010. Despite his remarkable achievement, fate dealt Marco a devastating blow, altering the course of his racing career forever. The defining moment came during a sports car race in France, where a horrific accident cost him his left eye. A stone shattered his helmet visor, inflicting a severe eye injury upon him. This incident occurred when he was merely 28 years old, abruptly bringing an end to his competitive racing pursuits. While the accident marked the end of his driving career, it ignited a profound transformation within Marco. Determined to stay involved in the sport, he transitioned into a management role, guiding the careers of talented drivers like Gerhard Berger and Carl Wendinger. By becoming their mentor, Marco played a pivotal role in helping them achieve success on the track. After a few years, Helmut Marco's management of drivers evolved, culminating in a significant milestone in 1989 when he established a formal junior program and Formula 3 team named RSM Marco. Under this banner, two cars competed in both Formula 3 and Formula 3000, marking the beginning of a highly successful era for the junior team. RSM Marco proved to be a breeding ground for some of the most promising young talents in motorsport. The team's training and nurturing of these budding drivers propelled them towards greatness, setting the stage for their future accomplishments in the racing world. In the late 1990s, fate forged a momentous connection between Helmut Marko and Dietrich Mateschitz, the mastermind behind Red Bull. This pivotal encounter led to Red Bull assuming control of Marko's team, leading it to its rechristening as the Red Bull Junior Team. In this new alliance, Mateschitz entrusted Marko with a crucial role as an advisor to the racing department and as the overseer of the team's training program. In 2005, Helmut Marko was entrusted with the responsibility of spearheading Red Bull's motorsports program as he transitioned into a full-time role as an advisor to the main Red Bull team. Collaborating alongside Christian Horner and Adrian Newey, Marko emerged as an indispensable driving force that propelled Red Bull racing to the zenith of the sport. His keen eye for talent played a pivotal role in shaping drivers' careers like Sebastian Vettel and Max Verstappen. As a leader in strategy meetings, Marco bears the responsibility of ensuring that Red Bull and Alpha Tauri have the finest drivers on the grid. He holds his drivers to a high standard, and his no-nonsense style is well known among those who have been under his guidance. 
Marco's strict demeanor demands hard work, dedication and excellence from his drivers and he's been known to make tough decisions if expectations are not met. However, Marco's journey to success in the world of Formula 1 has been marked by its fair share of controversies. Renowned for his candid and outspoken nature, his remarks have frequently ignited debates within the Formula 1 community. One significant instance unfolded in 2010, when Marco found himself embroiled in a highly publicized controversy involving Red Bull driver Mark Webber. Accusations swirled that Marco displayed favoritism towards Sebastian Vettel, creating tensions not only between Webber and Vettel, but also casting a shadow over the team dynamics. Also, Marco's courageous stance in the Formula 1 driver market is a facet that often draws scrutiny and criticism. His reputation for adopting a stringent approach in driver selections has fueled both praise and backlash. This practice has played out repeatedly with Red Bull and Alpha Tauri drivers, leading to a pattern where each driver's fate becomes a topic of intense speculation and debate. Marco's rule is crystal clear. Drivers must be exceptionally fast or they risk being replaced. This unwavering stance has led to accusations of favoritism and excessive involvement in the team's strategic decisions. In the past, Red Bull Racing has demoted or switched drivers during the season, such as with Alex Albon and Pierre Gasly in 2020. While some criticize his aggressive strategies, others appreciate his willingness to take bold risks that set Red Bull apart from other teams. As a cornerstone of Formula 1 management and a mentor to young drivers, Marco's impact has drawn varied perspectives from those who have experienced his guidance firsthand. Max Verstappen, two-time Formula 1 world champion and current Red Bull driver, sheds light on Marco's no-nonsense approach. He stated, What he likes is when you tell him straight away that you failed. He would rather you tell him that you made mistakes than any other explanation. Verstappen's insight portrays Marco's preference for unvarnished honesty, showcasing his commitment to fostering accountability and growth. Former Red Bull racer Daniel Ricciardo attributes Marco's mentorship to his personal development. Ricardo stated, Helmut Marco is a guy who gave me loving strictness when I was a junior. Ricardo's sentiments reflect Marco's role as a guiding force, molding young talents with a blend of firmness and care. Juan Pablo Montoya, an ex Formula One driver, reflects on the demanding nature of Marco's coaching. It was tough at the time, but in the end, he made me a better driver. He always yelled that I had a lot of problems and that I was crazy and everything but he did so with the right intentions. He was pushing me all the time to be a better person. This goes to show the immense impact that Marco's had on many F1 drivers, especially those whom he's mentored and guided. Although Helmut Marco's personal life and interests outside the racing world tend to remain hidden from the public eye, we've grown accustomed to seeing him as a mysterious figure orchestrating events behind the curtain at Red Bull but the reality is more intricate. Marco is not only the driving force behind the remarkable triumphs of the Red Bull Racing F1 team, but the successful career of many Formula 1 drivers. However, in the upcoming years, Helmut Marco's active roles within Red Bull may see a shift. The question of Marco's eventual retirement from his position at Red Bull looms, prompting insights from the Austrian himself. Now, at 80 years old, he reaffirms his autonomy with a resolute statement. I'm a free person and I can stop at any time if I'm no longer happy. As Red Bull's Formula 1 standing soar and Marco's passion remains undiminished, his contributions to the team's search for emerging talent persist. His active participation in races, attentive mentoring and dedication to nurturing new drivers emphasize his enduring significance. In this journey, Marco is not alone. A behind-the-scenes figure, Guillaume Roccolin, plays an increasingly pivotal role in driver training and education. Together, they form a dynamic duo, ensuring that the legacy of identifying and nurturing racing talent remains a thriving legacy within Red Bull. So, what are your thoughts regarding Helmut Marko's impact on Red Bull? And do you believe that individuals like Vettel and Verstappen would have reached the pinnacle of F1 without his guidance? Feel free to share your opinions in the comment section down below.